everyone, it's Ann Stewart with the Quinn Stewart Real Estate Group at eXp Realty. And today we are talking about understanding your property tax statement. You won't want to miss this, so stay tuned. So today's topic is all about understanding your property tax statement. So this is the time of the year, the fall, where we get these things in the mail that may look a lot like this. And uh, when you get a copy of this, it's either going to be yellow or it's going to be green. And majority of us get a yellow one. So why is that? All the information on here remains the same. The yellow one basically means that it's more than likely that your lender is going to be paying your property taxes. You have your property taxes being paid out every month uh, in addition to your mortgage statement and the lender will actually pay your taxes for you. So if you get this color, um, you usually don't pay your taxes out of pocket. Your lender collects uh, some amount every month in your payment and then pays the bulk of it for you. So if you got a yellow one, that means you have a mortgage that is usually inclusive of your property taxes. If you get a green one, it means that you're paying your property taxes outside of your uh, mortgage statement and therefore you have to pay it out of pocket and depending on how you choose to pay it, whether all at once or in different um, ways, you might get a little incentive for doing that, little little percentage off. But basically, property taxes, a lot of times people get them and they just kind of put them aside and then they don't look at them maybe until they start prepping them for taxes or maybe they don't look at them at all. But what I like to tell people is, is that this is your fiscal year of property taxes. So we're right now looking at 2019 to 2020 and our property tax season is very confusing, especially when you go to sell a property or buy a property people always are totally confused by how they collect them and it makes perfect sense why because we pay them in the november time frame but we collect them from june 30th to J july 1st so it makes the prorations kind of funky but basically what they do is what a lot of people are more concerned about anyway is, is did their property taxes go up and we can honestly say that most of the time you're going to see a little increase um, back in 1998 they passed a law that said you can't they can't go up more than three percent Per year. However, there are caveats. Um, if somebody's done excessive remodels or pulled permits, or there are things that maybe the county doesn't feel like they know about your property, but they find out about your property, they can go above that 3%. So it can vary just depending. But usually what people want to look at is what are my, did my value go up based on what the county thinks? Keep in mind that what your house would sell for and what the county is assessing it at is nowhere near each other typically sometimes it's up or down or whatever so that's always a bit confusing for people and they do depending on the county you live in they have millage rates and all kinds of things that you know apply depending on how they assess if you think you're paying way too much for property taxes or you think it's way above anybody in your neighborhood you can uh you can go down to the county and and, and fight those just fyi um, in some rare cases we have situations where people's property taxes have gone up extraordinarily high for this new reason that I'm not going to quite get into on this video, but you can hire somebody to help you decrease your property taxes if you feel that you are um, paying way too much compared to your neighbors. Um, but basically what it does is it walks you through what the market value is, the uh, which they base it on the land and they base it on the structure and the total RMV value. So they give a uh, an amount for what they think your land might be worth, an amount for what they think your build structure, your improved value is, and they come up with an RMV value. And most times you want to see that number be lower than maybe what the actual value of the house is because for obvious reasons, you don't want to pay more than you have to on your property taxes, right? Um, if you feel that the property value based on their RMV is higher than what you could sell for, then that's where you can kind of start maybe having that discussion with the county about, well, hey, is this correct? And, you know, am I paying too much compared to my neighbors? And they'll, they'll do a search on that for you. But at any rate, uh, the property tax statement usually also shows what are you paying for? Where are your property taxes going towards? Um, a lot of times, especially in different counties right now, they are doing a ton of work on schools. So you might be paying a bond. You might be, you know, you're obviously paying for um, local services like police and so forth. Um, you're going to be paying for, um, you know, maybe a, 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 an aquatic center in the area. Um, but schools are the primary ones that show up. Um, and then, of course, depending on your county, different things can be added in depending on what the needs of the county is. So when you go to vote, sometimes this stuff shows up on it that you're paying for. So anyway, it's super interesting. If you haven't taken a look at a property tax statement in a while, I highly suggest you do that. Um, but I hope this was helpful in case you uh, haven't been looking at your property tax statement for a while. And um, this means you're a homeowner. 